Hey guys, me, Ronald Chris Tomer here with this morning mountain weather update. Was out yesterday on the road skiing at uh, Monarch. You can see what it looked like. We had six, seven, eight inches of new snow out there, and then the sun came out in the afternoon, and it started to snow again last night, and it's still snowing there even this morning. So, wonderful trip out there. This is the final storm, though, of this uh, storm cycle. Let me take you over to radar, and you can see the, the snow coming up uh, I-25 there. And it's starting to fill back in. This is the second piece. The main storm's coming in from the south, sweeping through the four corners down into New Mexico and southern Colorado and starting to push all that moisture back up over the top of the front range. But this is the next wave, and this will take us through the afternoon and tonight. And then tomorrow, things will start to dry out. Let me take you over to my bullet points here and just show you what I'm thinking about this morning. So this is the final storm, final snow for Colorado, New Mexico of this storm cycle. And then everything's going to shift up to the northern tier of states with snow for the Pacific Northwest, BC, and Northern Tier. Those areas will be favored 211 through 215, and I'll show you the jet setup for that, and it'll be pretty obvious. Then the whole thing's going to shift to the south. I talked about this yesterday afternoon. Still the case. The storm track will come back to the south, run right into California, and then um, the jet will blow everything into Utah, Wyoming, Idaho, and Colorado. Uh, what looks to be a pretty strong storm system, 216 through 220, at least one, probably two between that time period. Could be looking at significant snow. And then in the northeast, you've got a shot of snow, especially on 213, south of the major ski areas. Um, and then there's another shot on 216 of some snow. All right, let me take you back. I want to show you water vapor satellite imagery this morning give you the lay of the land so this is the latest and here it is this is the final storm system just now pulling through the four corners and that's what's wrapping all that snow back up through parts of Colorado and New Mexico and then eventually that's going to move out and then the whole pattern is going to shift to the north and you can almost see it happening let me use let me use you can almost just draw a line right here because that's the way everything is going to move you've got a disturbance another one another one right here and they're all kind of riding that line that that flow pattern that jet stream and that's going to be moving all that moisture through BC and parts of Banff interior BC Revelstoke uh, eventually into Washington State and Idaho Montana and Wyoming those areas will be favored for about four days maybe five days um, let me show you the jet stream so this is the uh, the jet stream by tonight into business tonight and you can see the trough moving through Colorado New Mexico and then tomorrow it's gone but look what the jet does now it's all shifted to the north you can see it's running west to east across the Pacific Northwest BC and the northern tier all right here's 213 in today same kind of setup same kind of thing on 214 and also 215 then once we get into 216 217 it starts to shift back to the south and look at the powerful subtropical jet coming right off the Pacific that is a strong Pacific pattern so you're gonna bring in areas of low pressure slam them up against California and then move all that moisture into the interior all right here's 218 same kind of thing again we're talking potentially um, strong storm systems moving out of California into Utah, Colorado, Wyoming, Idaho, all those areas. Let's put some precip on this. So here's the forecast radar and satellite. This is 530 this afternoon. And again, final storm, snowing in Colorado, snowing in New Mexico. And then by tomorrow, it exits. And then everything shifts to the northern tier. Look at the banding on all the ribbons of snow coming across the northern tier states. 213, 214, 215 and even clipping Colorado at times. Now by 216, the frontal boundary and the jet have shifted even further to the south, and now you're starting to see it. That Pacific flow starts to overrun and gets, it gets basically just moved like a conveyor belt into the interior. And then here's to, watch what happens, 217 main storm system pulls out of California, moves into Utah, Arizona. You've got snow through the Wasatch, the Tetons, western and southwest Colorado, New Mexico again. And then that moves through 218 and 219. Here comes the next storm system into California. That one should take a similar track and deliver another shot of moderate to heavy snow across the interior. So things are looking good, but it's way down the road from where we're at right now. Okay, let me show you the latest uh, forecast I've got for snow. Rest of today through tomorrow, so the next 48 hours, the snow's in Colorado and New Mexico with that final storm system, and you can see the numbers. Then you can already start to see things loading up in uh, B.C., Pacific Northwest, potentially two to six inches up there through parts of B.C., a little bit more in Washington State. Period two is impressive. Uh, another three to six through parts of B.C., interior B.C. and Banff. Um, parts of Idaho, northwest Montana, 4 to 8, maybe 8 to 14 across the Tetons, and a little bit of that snow clipping the Wasatch in the central and northern mountains 
of uh, Colorado. Okay, here's the final time period. This is when everything starts to shift to the south, 215 through 219, at one to two feet in California, about two feet for um, the Tetons, um, and that's on top of the period before it. So you're looking at 8 to 12 here, 8 to 14, and then we add another two feet to that. So you could be looking at three feet around the Tetons through these two time periods, about three feet. A couple of feet for the Wasatch in Colorado, most of it's western and southwest Colorado, although there's a fair amount, especially once the low moves past on like 218, 219, we might get some wraparound on the Continental Divide, so 6 to 12 up there potentially. Um, but the numbers are looking good. They're, they're holding from, from where they were yesterday in the afternoon update. Um, all right, one last stop into the northeast. Again, a storm around 213, but the storm track takes it through southern New York, Massachusetts, and areas to the south. So just lighter snows, Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine. Another shot of snow in 216, but nothing huge um, kind of running through the northeast. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this morning mountain weather update. Always appreciate you tuning in here, and take care.